I know. <laughs> See how long it takes. So, how'd it go? Good. Troy's moving on St. Louis, and I'm his weapon of choice. Looks like you've got a road trip ahead of you. Set a waypoint for St. Louis. I'll keep tracking you from here. <laughs> oh, and be careful around Troy. He's got a bad rap sheet. She's right. like, I'll be in touch. Looks like you got a road trip ahead of you. Set a waypoint for St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, it's only it's only a little little ways. <laughs> Set waypoint. Oh my gosh, dude! That is <laughs> okay. If you just look at the map, because the map is okay. The map is when you look at it zoomed out. You know, it's just like a normal map. Dude, it is a long drive. <laughs> like, it realistically, it'd probably take you like 14 or 16 hours to go from Detroit to St. Louis. Dude, that's crazy. So, alright, let's see how long this takes. It's kind of cool though. Cause I bet once you get there, then you could like fast travel afterwards. But to start out, you gotta drive all the distance. Oh crap, that was bad. What? That can't be accurate. It says 12 miles. Dude, so I'm wondering, okay, I'm gonna go to St. Louis, and then I'm gonna, like, free roam and try to go to Lebanon, and see if there's anything there. Like, I don't, because I know they probably have, like, all the major cities, but, like, I don't know if, how accurate the major cities would be, or if it's just kind of, like, a general idea of whatever it would look like. Oops. Yeah, you can tell though on the beta that they're gonna fix the like crashing into other cars because there's sometimes if you do it just right, you can like hit it head on but not even wreck your car. How did I only get bronze? That's a lie.
No, it says I only have eight miles to go. <laughs> That's what it says. 8.2 miles. <laughs> Oops. I just infiltrated this person's backyard. And he's sweeping... He's sweeping gravel. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. What are these guys doing? Dude, this guy's sweeping gravel too. What the heck? <laughs> Dude, that's weird. Oh my gosh, there's buffalo in the way. Five miles away. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ooh. Dude, if that happened in real life, I'd have died. I'd have got decapitated or something. <laughs> And then there was cornfields everywhere. Yep. I'm in the Midwest. I'm on Route 66. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I hit a tree. More corn. There was buffalo running in the middle of the road. Ooh, there's the arch. Mm hmm.
Oh, I just hit a tour bus. Oops. Yep, there's the arch. I didn't pass no bridge. Or I guess that'd be on the other side of St. Louis. passing a bridge. Dude, this kind of looks like it, actually. Dude, that's pretty accurate. Like, you know how there's, there's like, three or four bridges? And then there's, you have the one bridge that doesn't have, like, arches, and then there's the one that does have arches on it. And then it, like, loops around and then connects with the other ones. And then there's all those, like, tall, like, skyscrapers right next to the arch. Dude, it looks pretty accurate, not gonna lie. Okay, now I gotta go explore. Alright, sorry mission, I gotta go, I gotta go check this out. Dude, here's the Capitol building. <laughs> yeah. Dude, okay, is there a park right underneath it? Memorial Park. Can I go in Memorial Park? Oh. Hmm. There's gotta be a way I can get in there. Uh. <laughs> like I said, Detroit's got a little crowded for a man of my ambition. So we're setting up shop in St. Louis. Here's the location of St. Louis V2. Find her and kill her. What? You heard me. Dude, yeah, it's it's crazy because it's pretty accurate. Not gonna lie. I can't get in that park though, and it drives me nuts. But then on the other side is like the river, and there's even boats like underneath the bridges. Ooh, I just wrecked. It only took me like, what, 